This video illustrates SealTight's ability to cure leaks in the control systems of subsea wells. The leaking well was the Petrobras PGP-01 subsea well located at a depth of 105 meters. Petrobras was experiencing leaks in the actuators of the Slave 2 valve and the Master 2 valve on the well. As can be seen from the video, the M2 was experiencing a severe leak and the S2 was experiencing a moderate leak. This operation was performed from a dive support vessel. An umbilical line was deployed from the vessel and was tied into a grease port for the actuator. The well was shut in during the sealant operation. Prior to videotaping, the M2 actuator was sealed using SealTight sealant technology. Unfortunately, the initial seal failed and later in the day further sealing operations were necessary, resulting in a successful seal. The seal tight pressure activated sealant is injected through the umbilical and into the S2 actuator. The sealant flows through the seals in the actuator and out through the pressure relief port. As can be seen, the sealant exiting from the pressure relief port is a low viscosity fluid without particles. As the seal tight sealant polymerizes in the damaged parts of the seals, the leak rate through the seals diminishes and eventually seals the damaged portions of the seals. After the leak was sealed on the S2, the pressure on the system was cycled to verify the integrity of the seal. This cycling of the valve continued for over 30 minutes. After the leak was sealed on the M2, the pressure on the system was cycled to verify the integrity of the seal. This cycling of the valve continued for over 30 minutes. During the cycling of the M2, Due to the severity of the M2 leak, the leak reappeared. A second injection of the seal tight sealant was prepared and injected through the umbilical. The seal tight pressure activated sealant is injected through the umbilical and into the M2 actuator. The sealant flows through the seals in the actuator and out through the pressure relief port. As the seal tight sealant polymerizes in the damaged parts of the seals, the leak rate through the seals diminishes and eventually seals the damaged portions of the seals. The next day, the M2 valve was cycled to verify the integrity of the seal. 